Southwest of Bank of America, stay down. Shots are being fired, automatic fire. Shots are being fired from AK-47. There is an officer down. February 28, 1997, North Hollywood, California. Scene of the largest gunfight ever caught on tape. 1,100 rounds of armored piercing bullets are fired. Nine officers are shot, seven civilians are injured. I did not think that I was gonna get out of there alive. But thanks to the bravery of countless Southern California police officers, no one is killed except the two bank robbers. After locking more than 30 hostages in the bank's vault, the two gunmen try to make their getaway. They start yelling and screaming, everybody down, you know? And they start shooting all over the place. But they're surprised by police. The gunmen open fire, spraying bullets at anything in their way. Jorge Vieira, a Spanish-speaking reporter for Telemundo Television, is one of the first to arrive on the scene. There was bullets everywhere. Jorge spots one of the gunmen, but mistakes him for a cop. We didn't know where the bullets were coming from or what was happening or anything. Not realizing that they are in extreme danger, they barricade themselves close to the bank robber. Jorge continues to report on the robbery, fully aware that this newscast may be his last. When I heard the bullet that hit behind the pool, at that moment I was pretty scared. I started thinking, well, I'm going to get killed. Several police officers are wounded. Helicopters catch the terrifying scene from above. They too become moving targets. Amidst the chaos and horror, Dr. Jorge Montes treats two injured officers when they duck through the front door of his dental office. I see the two officers on the floor, and they start screaming away, who's a doctor, who's a doctor? And I say, I'm the doctor. Say, Help me, I've been shot, I've been shot. Tracy Fisher is on her way back from the ATM when she is caught in the crossfire. The sound of the gunfire was death to me. While huddled behind a squad car, she is shot in the foot. And it knocked my feet out from under me. I mean, I, I hit the pavement. The suspect is moving northbound in the parking lot. The suspect is behind the white vehicle in the parking lot. The gunmen continue their assault. While one suspect drives, the other walks calmly beside the vehicle, blasting everything in sight. He goes about 10 yards, turn around, caps off, and a clip around at us. The return barrage of police gunfire is deflected by the bank robber's body armor. Uh, I don't know how many times, but the heavy, heavy body armor, he's, it's not knocking down at all. Watch closely as the gunman lurches forward, a police round literally bouncing off of him. Go for the legs. They don't have body armor on their legs. The quick-thinking police borrow high-powered weapons from a neighborhood gun shop and take the offensive when the gunmen split up. Shooting only a pistol, the gunman on foot is finally outgunned. In a burst of gunfire, his weapon is shot from his grasp. Then, the gunman goes down. Squad is moving in. There's one suspect he fell from the north side of the parking lot. The second bank robber heads into the residential neighborhood. Families take cover inside their homes as he attempts to hijack passing motorists. Calmly, methodically, the suspect transfers his weapons into the pickup. When the truck won't start, the police make their move. The gunman opens fire at the police. They're fired. Shots are being fired. More shots are being fired. The officers return fire. F-45 all officers out here and right in to stay down. There's all kinds of ricochets flying. Stay down, everybody. Watch crossfire. All units watch for crossfire. Then, a direct hit by police. The suspect has fired his final shot. Calm is once again restored. One suspect on Archwood is in custody. The residents of North Hollywood will never forget this day. They will certainly never forget the brave officers who gallantly risked their lives. Hearing the officers' voices, knowing that they knew we were there meant a lot to me. It made me feel that I wasn't alone. And what was so courageous to me is even though they were obviously in pain and, and bleeding and, and in danger, they were still concerned for the partners down below and still concerned for us, the, the civilians. Because of the great job that the policemen did, I believe that that's why nobody got killed, only the suspects.